Hey guys, welcome to my channel. As you guys probably know, Black Friday is this Friday and a bunch of sales have already started that like go on for this entire week and like into next week. I don't know when Black Friday became like a two week bender. I am here today to share with you some of the sales and some of my favorite products. Four brands today that we're gonna talk about. The first two, very personal to me. So I don't know if you've heard of Night Swimwear, but that is my swimwear company and I am doing a Black Friday sale. I'll probably go from the Friday until the Monday. So it'll be like the Cyber Weekend thing. Is, there, is it Cyber Monday? Cyber Monday. And it will be 30% off the entire website. A lot of things are sold out. A lot of sizes are sold out. I apologize for that, but there will be 30% off everything on the website. Gabby Gaines, which is my fitness guides. I have a volume one and volume two. They will both be on sale as well. They'll be 20% off all my workout guides and they're regular only $32. So it's gonna bring it down to like $25. So real cheap, you get tons of content in these workout guides. They have so much stuff in them. There's eight weeks of workouts. I do have full descriptions on the website if you wanna know what's in both of the guides, but make sure you check that out at gabbygaines.com. First, we'll talk about Alphalete. These black Revival leggings are finally making a reappearance. These ones are the mediums. So these are like really big, really big on me. I'm usually a small, if you want to see try-ons of those, I have multiple other Alphalete try-on videos. So check out those if you wanna know about sizing or anything. But these black leggings will be launching. These are the cross bras, definitely some of my favorite sports bras. The entire website, everything on the website will be up to 75% off. I have a feeling things are going to go very quickly. Like even the black revival leggings are gonna be on sale. Everything is going to be on sale. Everything. It starts Thursday at midnight, I believe, and then goes until Monday at midnight. Make sure you get in those deals. I will show you some of my favorite Alphalete items. These black leggings, they're just a classic. You can't beat the basic black. Now these are going to be a more of a darker black than last launch and they do have the fixed crotch whereas the other ones have like the triangle shaped crotch. These do have the like diamond shaped one and they will be a darker black than the last launch because the last launch was more like a really dark gray. Great. Okay, the other Alphalete sports bra. So as I said, this is the cross sports bra. Definitely one of my favorites. Just has like that. So I don't have any of the Revival sports bras right now because I only have the red one and it's in the wash because I wear it all the time. But those are definitely favorite sports bras hands down, the Revival sports bra. If you wanna see that, check out my last video. I like try on the red one. So those are my number one favorite. Then these cross bras and then these mesh bras. Ding. These are fantastic. I love these. They have like that little, what is this called? Racer back. So racer back on the back. They have the Alphalete logo here and then they do have mesh down the middle. These are very supportive. I'm a small in these and they're pretty tight. I'm a small in everything, by the way, except for these wrap bras, as I mentioned a billion times before, but just in case you're new, I'm not sure what's gonna be, like what colors are gonna be available. The Alphalete website is already shut down and it won't be open again until Friday. I know it's like really unfortunate and inconvenient that the website like shuts off until the actual launch day, but they just do that so that they can prepare and like put the new things on the website without people like clicking through stuff, you know? And then the last sports bra is the cross back or the cross sports bras, wrap bras, wrap bras. Now these are probably the least practical sports bras and definitely the most showy. Like if you have big boobs, your boobs are gonna be fully out. Cause like these give me cleavage and I don't have any boobs. So if you have little boobs, get yourself one of these freaking wrap bras cause it will make your boobs look amazing so this one i don't wear as often as i wear the other ones just because i'm like less comfortable without wearing a shirt that is the order of the sports bras first i like the revival sports bra then these cross bras then the mesh bras and then the wrap bras those are the order of my favorites for the bras and i do work out in just like revival leggings and a sports bra i don't wear like a shirt over these bras and it's not like that much skin shows like literally like an inch. Thank God for high-waisted leggings. Speaking of leggings, I switch favorite colors of Revival leggings way too often. Right now, these are my current three 
faves. Now I don't know what's gonna be on stock on the website. I don't know what they're restocking. I don't think they're gonna be restocking a lot of colors. I think it's more they'll be launching the black ones and then kind of like whatever's left on the website will be available. I would check, but again, the website's shut down. So I can't really tell you what's left. These are my favorite colors right now. Got like the mauve pink color. These friggin' beautiful, like a burgundy maroon ones. And then this gorgeous, like teal, kind of like orangey color. Now these I love because they match like everything. Like this goes with purple, dark blue, light blue, turquoise, green. Just because it has so many different colors, it matches with so many different tops. White, black, gray. So many things match these ones, which is another reason I love them. The crossback, the ones that match these, will also be available. I honestly just rarely ever wear the cross leggings because I just wear the revivals all the time. I almost forgot about the freaking joggers. How dare I? Last time I was on the website, my two favorite joggers was still available and I'm just confused as to why you guys haven't hopped on these yet. I wear these ones the most. So it's like this blush color and then the lilac color. How are these in stock? I wear a small in both of these. I can fit an extra small too. They just fit tighter, like more like leggings. These ones I do have to tie up at the front if I want them to be like tight, uh, but I usually don't tie them. I just kind of like leave them undone. And then I doubt these will be in stock, but the gray camos, those are definitely one of my number one faves. And these ones are all the premium joggers. So these are the ones that like fit silky, like they're very silky smooth. So are these ones, but these ones are men's. I am a size small on the men's joggers and they fit completely fine. They're just like a little bit bigger than the women's small, but honestly not by that much. I do have to tie these ones at the front if I want them to be a bit tighter. And then the only difference between the men's and the females is the men's have these pockets on the bum and the girl joggers do not have these pockets. That's basically the only difference. If the women's joggers sell out, hop over to the freaking men's and get some of the men's joggers because I wear the men's ones all the time. And the last pair of joggers I'm gonna show is the statement joggers. So these are the ones that have the stripe down the side. I wear size small in these. Now, some sweaters. First is the cropped hoodies. This is what I throw on over these sports bras. I start my workout with the sweater on. As soon as I get like warm enough, then I take the sweater off. That is how every day goes at the gym for me. These are size small. They're a bit more form fitting than I would like because I kind of like when my cropped sweaters are like a bit baggy. Like I like when the sleeves are super baggy. I just love that. Whereas these sleeves are going to be a bit more form fitting, like a little bit tighter. I would prefer the sleeves if they were baggier. The sweaters do show some sweat marks in the colored ones just because they are so tight. That's another reason I like the arms to be a bit baggier because in the armpit area is baggier and you like don't see sweat. The black ones, you don't see any sweat because it's black. The black ones do fit a little bit snugger than the color ones. I don't exactly know why. I feel like black just fits differently or something, but I'm still small in the black ones. It's not like it's a crazy amount smaller. I just noticed it's a bit less roomy than these. So this is a men's 2XL hoodie. And let me tell you, this is the freaking most comfortable thing ever. I wear this with like no pants. I do roll up the sleeves either, either once or even twice. This sweater is soft as freaking hell. Guys, you need to get yourself a giant men's sweater. You don't need to take your boyfriend's sweaters. Just get yourself one of the men's ones because I freaking love this thing. And I do just want to mention the underwear as well. If you've been wanting to try the seamless underwear, this is the time because they will be cheaper than normal because I know they are a bit pricey for one. Why is my camera on low battery? I still have to do all my women's best stuff. Oh, I'm not even done Alphalete. I haven't talked about the bags yet. So Alphalete has probably the best backpacks I have ever seen in my freaking life. It is definitely very thin, super easy to like travel with. On the sides, there's spots for like water bottles, shaker cups, whatever you have. And there's this big main pocket, this front little pocket where I keep like change or my phone or headphones. And then this back part, first of all, comfort and detail levels. 100 and then there's like a back little zipper right here and this is where you put your laptop now i know these are pretty pricey regular price so hop on this discount right now because alphalete never does sales and then last but not least from alphalete the gym bags i live out of these gym bags 
I have this gym bag and then I use the duffel bag. So whenever I'm going to my boyfriend's house, I like roll up with all my alphalete bags. You can fit so much shit in here. Still fits in the lockers of the gym, which is great. There's two pockets on the sides. So I put my headphones in one of these side pockets and then I put my gym shoes in this side pocket because it is like a shoe pocket. And there's the big main pocket. And my favorite thing is this friggin' front area. So I always put my phone right there when I'm like walking around. And there's these two zip pockets. So I put like my lock, my straps for deadlifts and stuff like that in one. And the other one I put like hair elastics and my little key card to get into the gym, that kind of stuff. You guys need this gym bag. We're gonna take a brief intermission right here. I'm gonna go charge my camera and then we will come back and chat about women's Okay, I'm back. So it's been about 45 minutes. I just decided to have a snack during that time and I downed this entire pack of little hearts. It's like 300 and something calories for the whole pack. There's like 10 little chocolate hearts in here. So now we can finally talk about women's best. Up to 50% off everything on the website and you also get five free gifts. So the five free gifts are three protein bars and two bags of protein chips, both freaking delicious. If I could recommend anything for Women's Best, it's all the damn snacks, okay? I eat those cookies the day I get them, no matter how many I get. It's a problem. The wafers are amazing. All the protein chips are so good. The protein bars, I love all of them. And this is a great way to try out the protein bars to see if you want to order a full box of them in the future because you do get the three free ones. The sale's already going, like the Women's Best sale already started. It started on Monday. It's gonna run this entire week and it goes until Tuesday. So you have lots of time. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite products and the products that I use every single day. So as I said, the treats are my favorite, the protein cookies, the wafers, everything. But I don't have any of those because of course I eat them like the day they come. Creatine. I think creatine is a must have. I don't take it every single day. I do cycle it. Now I've heard you don't actually need to cycle it. There's so much conflicting evidence. I know some people do cycle it, some people don't cycle it. Just the same as like caffeine. Sometimes you can like cycle caffeine, like go off caffeine for a while and go back on so that it like works better kind of thing. That's the same type of thing with creatine. So I do take creatine every day and I've been taking it every day for the past couple weeks. Sometimes I forget on the weekends when I take rest days, but I do try to take it every day. I just take one scoop and I mix this with my pre-workout. Then I drink that before I go to the gym slash F45. I take creatine to help with muscle building. And the way that this works is creatine helps build ATP and ATP helps your muscles. So creatine helps with like muscular endurance. So you're gonna be able to lift heavier for longer during your workouts, that type of thing. It helps with strength. At least I find when I take creatine, like I can increase my strength better. So it's great for muscle building. So if you're looking to build some muscles, the next thing that I use all the time is going to be the aminos. You guys see these in my shaker cups all the time on my Instagram stories. These two are my current favorites. So fruit fusion and blue raspberry current faves. I guess I can check like what the deals are on these specific items. So the aminos are currently 20 bucks Canadian for one. They're usually $30, so you save $10. So 20 bucks for one of these guys. Um, I guess I'll mention briefly talk about the pre-workout. So I honestly don't love the pre-workout. For some reason, women's best pre-workout just like tastes weird to me. I don't know. So I'm not like the biggest fan, but it gets the job done and it is $32 right now and it's regular 47 and then the amino and energy is also a form of pre-workout because it is gonna have the caffeine and stuff like that in there and it also has aminos and that is $29 right now and it's usually 42 next my current favorite flavor of protein powder is this one salted caramel this is so good I've had this one for a while and I just like never tried it because I would always drink the unicorn one or the cookies and cream one but man as soon as I tried this one, it jumped up right to the top of my favorites. It's also really good when you mix it into oats. Now, I don't drink protein shakes every day. You don't need protein shakes. I just like to have protein shakes if I'm like hungry and I think about it and realize I didn't eat that much protein during the day or from having like a really basic meal like peanut butter toast and there's not much protein in that then i'll have a protein shake with it yeah i just kind of use it additionally definitely i don't use it every single day it does come in handy some days when you need to get a little bit extra 
protein. Oh, by the way, cre creatine's only $16 for a tub. Oh my goodness, they have such good bundles on here too. So you can get BCA amino, pre-workout, and a shaker cup for 60 bucks. I did also want to talk about the Slim Body Shake really quick before I find the discount on this guy, but I'm just seeing it right now. Don't think that it, you're because you're drinking something called a Slim Body Shake that it's going to make you lose weight. That is not at all what the Slim Body Shake is. That is just how it is marketed. The Slim Body Shake is basically a protein shake that has extra carbs and a little bit higher fat. That is all it is. It is nothing that's gonna make you burn fat or like drop weight. That's not what it is. It is literally a protein shake with more calories than these protein shakes. <laughs> it's technically marketed as like a meal replacement, which is why it's called a slim body shake. But I would never in my life drink a 200 calorie drink as a meal, okay? I'll drink the slim body shakes if I want like a protein shake like that. That's it. I'll eat it with like other food. Like I'm not gonna just drink something and call that a meal, please. And I also do not take any of the like burner caps or any of those things for weight loss. So I can't really comment on those. I just don't really believe in like fat burning products. I think you can burn fat by building a bunch of muscle and doing some cardio. So, and eating healthy. Oh my God, this is only $16 right now. It's regular 32. Go get yourself some of this freaking all in one way. Oh no, the extra large shaker's out of stock. I was gonna say, this is my favorite shaker cup. This big one. <laughs> that sucks. The little shakers are what I put like creatine and pre-workout and stuff in. And then the big shaker is what I take my aminos in because I put like a lot of water with them. And I also put my protein shakes in the littler shakers as well. This is the Fit Way. This is the unicorn flavor. So this is my, like, my other favorite protein flavor. I don't really know why it's called unicorn flavor, but it just tastes like a strawberry milkshake to me. It is so freaking good. Regular $63 on sale for 45. And that's the one that comes with the shaker cup. Two more things. Okay, so the protein pancakes, this is the raspberry one. And to make these, I just make them like in a pan and then I put melted frozen strawberries on top and I put peanut butter on top as well. I have a bunch of videos that I've made those in before. So go check those out if you wanna see exactly how I make them. Protein pancakes are only $22 right now, regular 28. And then the last thing I'm gonna talk about is this evening relax tea. So I have this probably every single night and you don't need to have it at night. It's just like a decaf tea. It has like rooibos, nettle leaves, lavender, chamomile, balm leaves, and vanilla lavender flavor. So it is kind of like a fruity type taste. So the evening relaxed tea is regular $20 and it's on sale for 18. So it's only 10% off, but still 18 bucks is not bad. There is a lot of freaking tea bags in here so many so that is all for the products that i use basically every single day some of them obviously not every day like the protein and the pancakes i don't have those every day but i don't think there's anything else on this website that i really wanted to talk about there are vegan products vegan proteins another good thing would be omega-3 capsules i just really hate taking pills if i didn't i would take omega-3s i just i hate taking pills <laughs> Ooh, the omega-3s are 40 percent off for only 15 bucks. That is all the Black Friday deals that I wanted to talk about in this video. If you have any questions about the sales, let me know. I'm pretty sure I gave you all the information that I know personally, but if I miss anything, just let me know. Reminder, the Women's Best Sale has already started, so you wanna get on that before things sell out. The Alpha Elite Sale starts Friday, my guy workout guide sale starts Friday, and night swimwear sale starts Friday. Yay! Happy shopping, you guys, and I will see you in the next one.